the blue lights we've installed at Gatwick are really here to combat a number of issues we have here, including antisocial behaviour, vandalism, anti-suicide uh, capabilities if possible, and even littering. There are three main schools of thought why the blue lights work and they do for these things we're trying to combat. Uh, the first one is the circadian rhythm. It basically makes people feel a little bit calmer, a little bit better, uh, changes their mood if you like. Second reason is that it's just associated with the police and authority and emergency services. And the third reason is just it's, it's something different, enough to break the cycle of what they would be doing, that sort of old look at that type thing. The idea, I believe, originated in Japan and China. They have a much higher suicide rate than we did, and uh, they're obviously trying to combat that as well as the other bits and pieces in terms of antisocial behaviour and vandalism. And they've done a hell of a lot more work on it than, than we have. So uh, rather than trying to uh, reinvent the wheel, we've we followed their line of uh, their science, if you like. Recently, we've seen a, a fair increase in the rail suicides over the last year, and in recent months especially. Our safety team has put a lot of work into what we've done here to reduce these things, make a better environment, somehow a more calmer environment. Uh, so you'll see, apart from the blue lights, you will see some children's art, some posters around the place, uh, and some the odd plant and fern tree and what have you. This is the first installation of this scale in the UK. There are other stations which do have some blue lighting, but probably not on such a, a floodlit scale. This is basically to put a blue wash across as much of the station as we can and hope to uh, hopefully see some results in the near future.